So Apple have just released three new iOS devices and in the next three minutes, I'm gonna tell you all about them. Let's go. If you're in the market for an iPhone or an iPad, check out my guides down in the description. First up, we have a new iPad with 64 gigabytes of storage from $329. Now this is the ninth generation iPad. It is a quite an upgrade from the previous generation. It has that same 10.2 inch screen and lightning connector, but it's running the A13 Bionic chip, which is apparently 20% faster than the previous version. It's gonna run iPad OS 15. The front camera has been updated. It now has center stage, so it's gonna follow you when you're doing video calls and similar stuff. And we've also got the True Tone display on there. You can order it now. Now it'll ship out next week. The mighty iPad mini has got a complete redesign and a brand new model. Let's take a look at that one. We have a larger 8.3 inch liquid retina display and the whole thing has been completely redesigned based on the iPad Air fourth generation. So you get those slimmer bezels, you've got a USB-C connection, which does mean you get no headphone jack, the A15 Bionic chip. So this thing is going to fly along and you've got touch ID on the button there. So no face ID, but also no home button. You also get 5G on the cellular version and stereo speakers in landscape mode. Oh, and it will support the Apple Pencil too, for those of you that love the Apple Pencil. And of course, the flagship of this event, the iPhone 13. We've got the mini and the iPhone 13 from $699 and $799 respectively, and the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max from $999 and $1099. Now, these are definitely upgrades from the iPhone 12, but there's nothing revolutionary here. We've got the A15 Bionic chip. We've got a slightly larger battery for longer battery life, a slightly smaller notch, and all the cameras have been improved with larger sensors, which should get you better quality pictures and video. And over on the Pro models, the big changes here, we've now got a macro lens for taking those close-up photos. We've got improved Pro Motion display for up to a 120 hertz refresh rate, which is very cool. That's very similar to what we have on the iPad Pro. And we've got cinematic mode for video, meaning that we can shoot really nice high quality 4k 60 frame per second Dolby Vision video and here is your lineup for the 2021 iPhones from the iPhone SE through the 11 12 and now the 13 and 13 Pro once again if you're in the market for an iPhone or iPad whether new or second hand check out my iPad and iPhone guides linked down in the description they should really help you out thanks for watching I'll see you next time